What I am about to tell you and show you is probably the most astounding thing that you may have ever been told in your entire life. Initially, I expect that very few will believe it or even try to consider it. It will sound too outlandish or over the top for most people. But whatever you do with this information, whether you believe it or not, at least for myself, know that after looking at the accumulation of data collected at Farsight over a great many years, I am certain it is true. A picture has gradually emerged that seems as undeniable as it is astounding. Earth has long been a planet that has been operated as a prison. And I mean this literally, not as a metaphor for something else. People who live here were mostly dumped here from somewhere else, from other planets on other star systems within our own galaxy and possibly some star systems in other nearby galaxies. They get dumped here by being born here. They lose all their memories of who they were in the past, where they came from, who their families are and were, and they don't remember the property that they owned that was taken from them. He does not know who he is, who he was. This dude is lost. Like, he started to calm down and remember stuff, but then when that electricity happened, it's like it tossed him out. Everyone is processed in a way that erases all such memories. And the key to running this prison has always been from the beginning to suppress all knowledge of every prisoner's past. And it doesn't feel like he remembers who he was or who he used to be. Um, it feels like a blank slate now, like there's no substance to him. And when people die on Earth, a technique was established to involuntarily recycle them back into another life on this planet, memory-free, so that they could never leave. Dying offers no escape from this place. I sense numbness and booming sounds and lots of roaring, like an explosion happened. And there's lots of loud noises and chaos and shaking like a rumble, shaking, and just strong energetics being placed upon the structure. There's lots of electricity and frequency sounds are coming from something. There's huge amounts of shaking. and pain and screaming. While it is impossible to show you everything related to the prison planet idea in only one video, we can manageably focus on the method used to erase people's memories after they die. It is a process that is so cruel, so barbaric, and yet so unbelievable, it is best to show you rather than tell you. I will ask you to be patient as I step you through how it is done. Any hope of escaping from this prison will depend on understanding the workings of the death traps. One of these, one of these guys are absolutely not nice. Like the other two are almost neutral, but more bad than good. But this one guy, like he's got this triangular-ish shape, esque shape. He's not nice at all. He's mean. He's bad. He's bad. Very cunning and bad. He's bad, bad, bad energy, mean, mean, not nice. Specifically, the subject just can't remember things, so he's going in a loop. It's a continuous loop of being in a specific place and in a specific event and reliving that memory over and over and over again. I just hear a lot of loud noises and shouting and um, it just sounds like constant screaming and, sh and yelling all the time. Like it's like some, someone is constantly being tortured here. That's, it sounds like hell. 
kind of like a person who just has amnesia every and they're trying their best to remember something that they cut that they try to forget or they completely always forget or they can't control that they're forgetting so they try to remember over and over and over and over again okay after death we have the magnetic draw towards pathways or doorways an electroshock experience and finally a state of amnesia it also seems as if false memories may be inserted into the subjects at that point. A clean slate. Why would a prison be set up to do this? Well, it all begins with an understanding that it is impossible to kill a soul. They created this? To demolish his larger spiritual self? Because he was powerful? Can this be stopped? There is no such thing as capital punishment on the level of a soul. So if a society wants to get rid of someone that they don't want around, you can't just kill the person. The only way to really get rid of the person is to dump the person onto a planet with a soul recycler system, one that eradicates the individual's memories so that the person does not come back. Then one could let such a person get caught up in the recycler system for thousands of years. It feels like they're not in control of their mental state anymore. Someone, so, or someone or something is forcing them to relive these experiences. So they just feel like tortured souls. How hard will it be to convince many people that such death traps even exist when they don't have any memories of anything before their current lives? And he just feels like a zombie. He just feels like... If the society acknowledges anything about remote viewing or the extraterrestrials, then the entire house of cards is in danger of collapsing. Once you acknowledge the existence of the extraterrestrials, then the next question is to ask, what have they been doing all this time? And what is our history in relation to their history? And they picked apart the things that made him feel good and calm and created this false environment that they knew he'd go towards and then just darkness and now he's lost and at war with himself and with his ex-life his ex-life with darkness like none of that is fair that's not fair this means that if humans are to ever break out of this prison, they have to rely on themselves to know what is real and what is not real. They can't simply wait to be rescued. No one is coming to rescue us. There is no cavalry. We start dismantling the prison system by waking up, by remembering who we really are, who we were, and who we need to become, one person at a time. 